Ilsebad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they are led by Vergilia, legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the Civil War. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald, the very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament and imprisonment? Not impossible, but easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitech armaments, and once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. As for the Scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rearguard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak.
Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. Vistola always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. All right, once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's Magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. Very well. I wish you the best of luck. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. Losing my touch.
This is Nagrid. The explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control tower. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. returned, and none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. Excellent. Then let the fireworks begin. The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they haven't already. 
Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be all right, but... <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good as dead! Brief respect, but stay alert. Keep the carriages safe. are still in danger. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line.
from the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. It's nothing that won't heal in time. The trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Others take her down. There's no end to them. I was wondering when you'd turn up. There's no stopping us now. Come on, let's show them what we're made of.
before the sun! That was the last of them. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the supply caravan? Hmm. Outmaneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. So cold and unforgiving, thus spoke Emperor Solus as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi, after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth, freezing, hungry, Desperate, hated. The Chosen Forsaken. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young Legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution.
How did he conceive the machina that feed on ceruleum? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed, bitterly so. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone.
Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Tolofaroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Tilofroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now. This is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service, though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the Fury bless and keep you. 